With this video Yumo offers helpful basics regarding pH measurement and initial operation of a pH measurement system. Simply said, the pH value describes whether the chemical reaction of a watery solution is acid, neutral or alkaline. The pH value is a measure for the hydrogen ion concentration. The more hydrogen ions remain in the fluid, the lower is the pH value. The membrane glass of the pH electrode is negative loaded. The hydrogen ions carry a positive load. The higher the hydrogen ion concentration, the more ions are gathered by the membrane glass. The more ions, the higher the potential on the membrane glass. The potential on the membrane glass is conducted to the heat of the electrode via the internal electrolyte and the internal conductive system. The potential on the membrane glass results from the hydrogen ion concentration or the pH value. The characteristic shows the potential depending on the pH value. The theoretical slope of the line is minus 59 millivolt per pH. The slope of the characteristic depends on the temperature. There are two possibilities for condensation. A resistance thermometer measures the temperature of the medium and the transmitter compensates the deviation. The picture shows the setting of the transmitter. When the temperature of the solution is stable, this temperature can be set on the transmitter. With this chart it can be decided whether a temperature measurement is necessary. In the example there is no temperature sensor used. A fixed temperature is defined. If the temperature of the solution corresponds to the defined temperature, the pH value will be determined without deviation. If there is a fixed temperature of 20 centigrades defined in the transfer and a current temperature of 35 centigrades, the deviation is plus 15 Kelvin. The pH value is 5. The transmitter determines a pH value which is 0.1 pH to high. The potential on the pH electrode is a measure for the pH value. But the circuit has to be closed. The connection is realized by the reverence electrode. The reverence electrode transfers the potential of the solution to the heat of the electrode via diaphragm, electrolyte and conductive system. The diaphragm is the connection between solution and electrolyte. The more permeable the diaphragm, the more reliable the measurement is. On the other hand, the electrolyte consumption rises and the electrode life is reduced. The shown ceramic diaphragm can be used for measurement in clean solutions like drinking water, swimming pools and so on. For heavily polluted water, such as wastewater, Teflon ring diaphragm is used, or open diaphragms like annular gap or perforated diaphragm. The picture shows the measuring circuit principle with pH and reverence electrode. pH and reverence electrodes comes together in so-called pH combination electrodes. Constructionally, the reverence electrode is built around the pH electrode. 
The pH combination electrode contains the components of the pH electrode like membrane glass, internal electrolyte and internal conductive element. The internal electrolyte is the connection between membrane glass and internal conductive element. Furthermore, the pH combination electrode contains the components of the reverence electrode like diaphragm, reverence electrolyte and reverence conductive system. Due to the high resistance of the low voltage signal, special coaxial cables are necessary for connection of electrode and transmitter. Standard antenna cables are unsuitable. The inner core transfers the signal of the pH electrode. The copper pred transfers the potential of the reverence electrode. The cable has to be as short as possible. When the cable is longer than 15 meters, an impedance converter is recommended. The converter must be screwed onto the electrode. When the combination electrode does not have a resistance thermometer, the connection is realized via a two-pole cap n-type terminal heat. Combination electrodes are fixed into fittings with a PG13.5 male thread. For laboratory applications, the electrodes are also available without male thread. Generally, pH combination electrodes with integrated resistance thermometer are available. A six-pole connection system, called SMAC, is used. The membrane glass of pH combination electrodes are made of different glass types. For the most applications, the so-called U-glass is used. This glass can be universally used for pH values between 0 and 12 and in a temperature range from minus 5 up to 80 centigrades. For a medium temperature up to 135 centigrades or a pH value permanently up to 14, the HT glass or the HA glass is used. A lot of other glass types are available. Using the right diaphragm for the application is very important. When the medium is not or only slightly polluted, ceramic or glass fiber diaphragm can be used. For high pollution, for example in wastewater applications, the Teflon ring diaphragm enables a larger connection between medium and reverence electrolyte. Particles of the pollution can adhere to the Teflon only rarely. It has a self-cleaning effect. Annular gap or perforated diaphragm are used together with a solid electrolyte. These diaphragms are used in media with high pollution or for adherent media like varnishes or pastes. The combination electrodes are available with plug cap or screw cap. The electrical connection can be realized either via a plug system or with fixed cable. Electrodes with resistance thermometer are also available. It is very important that the plug contact is always dry. Even a bit humidity can cause incorrect measurement due to the high resistance measuring circuit. The electrolyte of the reverence electrode is a saturated potassium chloride solution. Depending on the application, like ultra poor water or high polluted media, the salt concentration can be reduced very fast. Therefore, the electrode can only have a short operating life. Due to a salt reserve of salt rings, the electrolyte remains saturated. So the operating life of the electrode is much longer. In refillable electrodes, there is a bit of overpressure in the reverence electrolyte. The overpressure is caused due to the higher position of the storage vessel and possibly primary pressure admission. The electrodes have one or more ceramic diaphragms. 
Due to the overpressure of the reverence electrolyte, there is a continuous flow into the measurement medium. This principle is normally used in the event of blockage of the diaphragm due to oil or other solutions, applications in ultra poor water, measurement in media which poisons the electrolyte when it flows in the electrode. Fittings are necessary for installation and protection of the electrodes. Electrodes have to be mounted so that they can be easily reached for regular maintenance, test and calibration. Replacement of the electrodes should be possible at any time and without much effort. Flow through fittings are mounted directly into the media conveyor pipe or into a bypass. They protect the sensors from breakage. Due to the special form, they realize the correct inflow of the electrodes and avoid measuring errors. In the case of measuring in a bypass, two ball valves allow us to remove the sensor without interrupting the process flow. Immersion fittings are mounted into open channels or tanks. They shield the electrode from breakage. Measurements in different depths of immersion are possible. Manual quick change fittings are used for pH measurement in closed circuits or for measurement in inflow or outflow of wastewater systems. The fittings can also be laterally installed in tanks. So the sensor can be removed without emptying the tank. Process fittings made of stainless steel can be directly installed into stainless steel pipe systems or into the tank wall. These fittings are mainly used in procedural plants with increased hygienic requirements. It is important that membrane and diaphragm are completely covered by the medium. Furthermore, the electrical connection has to be above the glass membrane. We advise a position which is at least about 10 degrees of the horizontal. The connection cable of pH combination electrodes must be stripped as shown in the drawing. The exposed shielding must be insulated with a heat shrink tube to prevent short circuits. Wire and sleeves should be given onto the wire end. The picture shows the connection of combination electrodes to the transmitter Humo Aquas 500 pH. The inner core of the coaxial cable must be given to the terminal block. The copper braid must be fixed with a clamp. In case of changing temperatures and measuring of pH values far from pH 7, a temperature sensor is recommended. The picture shows the connection of a resistance thermometer and three-wire circuit. When using pH combination electrodes with integrated temperature sensor, the connection wire has an internal and an external shielding. The internal shielding with a signal of the reverence electrode has to be connected to the terminal block as well. The external shielding is fixed with a clamp. The setting for the temperature compensation can be realized, for example, on the device front. pH measuring circuits are calibrated with three different methods. In the example, the most often used procedure will be enabled, the two-point calibration. This calibration procedure will be possible on the transmitter. In a pH measuring circuit, an offset is possible. This usually results from the reverence electrode. Furthermore, the sensitivity gradually changes. The reason is a pH electrode.
The calibration compensates offset and change of sensitivity. Normally buffer solutions are used. These are solutions with defined pH values. Calibration is realized in the calibration level. The two-point calibration is a standard method. This calibration compensates offset and sloop. Two buffer solutions are needed. For preparing the two-point calibration, the buffer solutions must be given to separate vessels. The electrode must be rinsed with distilled water. The combination electrode must be put into the first buffer solution, for example with pH 7. Two-point calibration must be selected. When no temperature sensor is used, the temperature of the buffer solution has to be measured and entered into the transmitter. This is especially important when the calibration point is far from pH 7. The transmitter shows the measured pH value. The pH value for the current temperature can be found on the bottle of buffer solution and must be entered on the transmitter. The combination electrode is put into the buffer solution 2 and the pH value is entered into the transmitter. The two-point calibration ends with the information regarding the status of the electrode. The idle output signal of pH combination electrodes at pH 7 is 0 mV. This stands for a zero point of pH 7. The sloop of 100% stands for minus 59 mV per pH. Fully functional pH electrodes have a zero point between pH 6 to 8. The sloop is between 90 to 101%. Two further calibration methods are possible. The one-point calibration is used, for example, in applications with ultra-poor water. The calibration is realized with a measuring solution and a hand measuring device. The three-point calibration is used for measuring in acid and alkaline media. The storage time of the combination electrodes is limited. It is recommended to use them within 6 months. The electrodes are stored in a wet retained cap filled with KCL solution. So they are protected against drying. Otherwise the electrolyte of the reverend system steps out and cracks can open the membrane. When the measurement system shows an error, for example unrealistic values, cleaning the electrode gives often in solution. The best method is flushing the electrode with distilled water. But never store the electrodes in distilled water due to desalting. Furthermore, a soft cloth can be used. For cleaning glass detergent, laboratory detergent, for example acetone or alcohol, or slightly acid solutions, for example 10% salt acid, can be used. Albuminous films can be removed with pepsin. In case of heavy pollution, the diaphragm can be sanded, but never scratch the pH glass. Never use abrasive detergent. After cleaning, the electrode has to be flushed with distilled water and the calibration has to be executed. Yumo produces and delivers transmitters for wall mounting, for DIN rail mounting and for mounting into control panel. We hope that this video was helpful to clarify open questions regarding pH measurement. We would be pleased to supply you with the necessary sensors and devices for your application.